John Long Silver Rails here, and today we have an accumulation of things to be unboxed. I have my unboxing tools here, scissors and knife. The thing is, some of this stuff came in a few weeks ago, all off of eBay, and I'm not sure anymore exactly what's what, so we'll find out as we go. Well, it's an Atherin Blue Box. So this first one is the little operating box car. And it has the man in it, as it should. I'm very happy with that, it looks really nice. So we will put that back in its box. Somebody has relabeled the box to say Tyco Operating Boxcar, and the price tag says $3.50. I don't know if that was the price of what was originally in that box or not. Now we have this package. Tyco Operating Piggyback Loader. That includes flat car with two trailers, truck cab, and operating depot. So let's see if that's true. This is the base for the cradle that sticks these things up, and it seems to work. The cradle clamps open and close, and it slides back and forth. This would be the stand parts that hold it up. Here's the flat car. Santa Fe and the couplers are there. Here's the track that goes with it on the base. Here's the ramp. This is the truck cab. Two trailers. They both have the little wheel stands that go with them. And we have a loose part in here, the railing, that goes right here. You see there's one there and one there. Here's the third piece of the railing. So it all fortunately appears to be there. The box is not in perfect shape. It's poorly, been poorly repaired. There's an art to repairing these old boxes. I've seen people do it on YouTube. It's probably worth the effort, but we'll see if I bother. All right, we now have another package. Now here's the thing, folks. This Tyco stuff, which has the old-fashioned type track, like this, may be difficult to join to the Bachman Easy track. So I probably, I'm thinking about this now, redo my little HO layout, taking off the Bachman Easy track and putting on uh, older fashion track. I do have a supply of the older Atlas Code 100 track, and I'm thinking about using that. This track that I have here, of course, has the brass rails, and what I have has the nickel rails, but they'll, they'll go together fine. So here we have the Tyco operating cold dump car in a sealed original box. I have to decide just when I want to open this, break the seal on this thing. It's only sealed once, but that's what it looks like in the sealed original box. And of course the catalog pictures are on the back as is typical of Tyco. I guess I'm on a Tyco sentimental journey here. 
Well, now we have two large boxes, or I should say larger boxes. And we have my knife hidden under all these new toys. Oh, let's see what's in these boxes. Well, we have a, another flat car with trailers, which I hope I'll be able to use with that piggyback thing. I think I will. It looks like it also includes no less than five of these neat little Tyco bulldozers. Now that's pretty cool. And I like the way the guy put them on there for safekeeping. I already had a flat car with three of these bulldozers upstairs. So here we have five more neat little things. And that freed up the two flat cars, I mean, vans that have the little stands intact as they should. So that'll go good with the other thing. It's always fun to pop the bubble wrap, isn't it? Well, guess what? I've cornered the market on bulldozers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. So that's 15 plus three upstairs, 18 bulldozers. What am I going to do? I guess I'll have to have a bulldozer dealership on my layout or something. But I like these little bulldozers, so I'm not complaining. I'm happy to have them. What else is in this box? Truck cabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the last one seems to be missing the rear set of wheels. Unless they're loose in there somewhere. Oh well. Well, I see one over here is missing the grill. So between the two of them, we'll have a junkyard truck cab. And we'll have a good truck cab. Well, here's a big box. Or a big container. I cannot tell by looking through the bubble wrap just what's in there. It is a little bit heavy. And it is so well wrapped that I may be here for the rest of the day trying to get this off. I have to say that the person who sold this stuff on eBay did a wonderful job of making sure it got here in one piece. So we have uh, the flat car, which I'm not sure if it's supposed to hold. Well, I think it's supposed to hold the trucks and, and not the... Uh, the bulldozers. At any rate, it's a great northern flat car. And there's a bunch more stuff wrapped up in this bundle. There's another flat car. It says trailer train on it. Maybe it holds the trailers. I don't know. There's another flat car. Western Maryland. That's a railroad I happen to like. So I'm glad to have that flat car. This one is Santa Fe again. I think I get a really good thing buying this set of stuff. Another Santa Fe, but it's a little different. It has a different deck. Maybe one's for bulldozers and one's for trailers. I don't really know what the difference is, but we'll figure it out. Or maybe one carries the trucks, the cabs. I don't know. So we have one last thing to unbox here. What do you think it is? This next one is going to be a little bit different than what we've seen so far. After all, everything so far has been Tyco. Will this be Tyco too? We'll find out. It's always fun doing an unboxing. It's like Christmas. That's why I like the sport of metal detecting because that's like Easter. So between the trains with the unboxing and the metal detecting, we have both Christmas and Easter in mind. Which is, and Easter of course is rapidly coming upon us.
Well, the note says, I trust you will find everything up to your expectations. I have included some extra items I had. Hope you can use them and so. Also, Steve. That's nice of him. I wonder what he put in there that I didn't pay for. Like I said, it is like Christmas, isn't it? Well, here's the operating bulldozer loader thing that I have to figure out how all this works. And there's the track. What we have here is the US-1 trucking slot car set. That's why it's different, but it's the same. I think it was by Tyco, once again. Here we have the part that goes with the controllers. And it looks like the controllers are attached to the part, but they're separate controllers, which is good because that means it's easier for two people to operate this stuff. And the controllers look like they're in good shape. Off and fast. And there's a lever here, which I it probably reverses it, is my guess. I've never operated one of these, so I don't know. It's going to be all new to me. And then we have a collection of highway signs. Gravel hopper, log loader, airport gravel hopper, log loader dump site. dump site, crane yard. I don't think all those accessories are going to be in here, folks. It'd be nice if they were. But we'll see what we have. We have here two sections of straight track. This is a siding for something. Here we have curve track, four pieces. Back in the box, looks like the power pack. And it says Tyco on it. It says Tyco electric trucking power pack. There's something carefully wrapped. It's the little green dump truck, which of course we need to run on this thing. Right there. Got a loose bumper, but we can fix that. It probably just snaps in. We'll worry about that later. And we find our first switch track. And the way these things work, of course, the vehicle runs down the track and then it goes onto the siding to do its thing. In this case, to unload whatever's in the back of that dump truck. Now you can see these things in operation by going to various YouTube channels. Tyco US1 Trucking, and they're fun to watch whether they really operate as well as they seem to on the YouTube channels remains to be seen until I have some experience with them myself. But I thought I might like to try to do this in conjunction with my HO layout. So it probably means I'm getting closer to the decision whether or not to replace the easy track with the old fashioned HO track. That obviously, that says gravel. So that's the, the gravel siding. And this one says gravel. So how that works, I have no idea. I have to figure it all out. It's part of the fun. Getting something that's new to you and trying to solve its mysteries. Maybe there'll be an instruction manual in here and maybe not. 
It looks like I have enough of these switch tracks for the time being, though. So that shouldn't be a problem. And here comes another one or two or whatever. Yep, two more. But we have plenty of these. Here's something wrapped up in here. It's a piece to the crane. So that could be a very handy spare part. That crane is pretty neat in operation. I wish I had the whole thing, but I'll take what I can get. I might, the way life goes, I might just need that crane part. And if not, I'll sell it to somebody who does. I think it's important people, if you have a lot of spare parts, to give other people an opportunity to acquire them off of eBay because it helps keep these things going. And that's part of the fun is to restore these old antique and vintage trains. At any rate, that appears to conclude the unboxing. I don't see anything else in here but peanuts and wrapping. I hope you enjoyed this video and perhaps we'll have another one where we show this thing in operation if I can figure it out without an instruction manual.